he will be laughed off by me. Greetings, all. This is Jim Carrey Smiles for Movie Lovers page. You can watch a review of the movie here. Great job, Luke. Let me argue that Luke is a figure from Jesus' existential cult. One school of thought, known as existentialism, holds that each person has the power to choose his or her own destiny via the exercise of free will. Atheist is Luke. In defiance of God's will, he creates his own Jesus to teach humanity the way to eternal salvation. In his gospel, Luke teaches his readers how to create their own paradise on earth. Jesus Christ is the Messiah, according to Luke. Indeed, he is not. The Messiah is known to be a mischievous lad. His self-destruction is immense, and he is definitely not a hero. However, there are striking parallels between his life and the life of Christ. Without further ado, let us compare the two. It is clear from this scene that Luke, like Jesus, comes from humble beginnings. The novel delves further into this. Section 145 of the text People from the Mountains were Jackson's people. They had always been unlucky in their attempts to make a livelihood in this hard, tough country, they were coal miners and timber cutters. A single mother brought Luke into this world. Attached to the rear of a weathered, unclean pickup truck is a makeshift ambulance. He has no belongings other than his banjo. A man and a woman give birth to Luke, but he never sees his father. Like the divine virgin birth, this has a human counterpart. Join me in listening. Dude, you. Luke, please. Sure enough, he was. He wasn't worth keeping around, but my gosh, he was hilarious. Yes, I would have preferred to have known him in the manner you describe. Since my issue is entirely on my shoulders, you have already done more than I have. That's incorrect, Luke. You have company. I will accompany you wherever you go. Hello, John. Thus becoming the burden that Luke must bear. I never imagined that might be such a burden, but here I am. We both. We had faith in your strength the whole time. The Romans ruled over us all. It was said that Jesus Christ was the Messiah. The one who would stand up to the helpless and the established order of that era. Dragline plays a pivotal role in this story as Peter. He has something to say, so let's hear him out. He might be with a boy. Very nice. Even though the figure is initially skeptical, Luke Gale eventually comes to believe that Luke is the savior, just like Jacob Dragline in the world. Even after all that, he still managed to defeat you. Similarly to today, when he failed to provide any substantive responses. There are moments when you don't have what it takes to be a true gentleman, Luke. Oh my goodness. Take a seat beside my son, Luke. Who are you? Additionally, this scene portrays his burial, resurrection, and rebirth. A miracle, the transfiguration symbolizes the coming together of God's nature with human nature. From heaven to earth, Luke is the intermediary. Stone. The lads start working. Stop trying to outbox him. Luke uses the name of God. Very well. Sure, I can help you out. No longer am I. What on earth did you say? Could you tell me the name you used? Luke, please. Of hunger. I thought he finally got it. His faith is satisfactory to him. Just so you are aware. Included in it are these. Yeah, Luke, you're totally on the money. Also depicted here is the act of repentance, or changing one's mind about sin. No problem, boss. I got it. Mine was bestowed upon me by you. Oh my God. Trap us in your wake. Oh my goodness. Saying, Lord, I got my body right, one might retreat. The death of Luke is hinted at in this. We will eliminate you if you attempt to flee once more. So? This makes everything look like a brilliant light. It is said that he should get up and wash himself in the reflection of the devil's eyes. Do yourself a favor and go to bed. He has been named son by the captain in heaven. 
No way. Taking a shot from below while a bounty encircles them. He is requested to stand. For 40 days, Christ suffered in the wilderness. It took Luke for days to rouse a human. You will act a bit more than usual for the next four days. I have a lot to offer you. The rules are now clear to you. Your plate needs to be cleared. Re-enter the box. Yes, boss? No more, my friend. My friend, do you have any free time? I guess snack time is the new nap time. Loosen up that flabby home belly. Another symbolic sacrament is this scene. And the Last Supper, which symbolizes subsisting solely for his benefit. Angels provided sustenance for Jesus after he was tempted. In light of this, Duke instructs his followers to feed. In his favor. He foretold his own demise, Jesus. The boss hinted at Luke's demise in the cemetery scene. This deceitful image, this illusion that kills once more, foretells Luke's ultimate downfall. The disciples of Jesus abandoned him just before he died. Here, Luke is on a separate cocoa. Similarly ruining the image. His presence is ignored by all. Tell me who you are. Have you gone somewhere? Death was a source of sorrow for Jesus. Even though it's an unintentional betrayal, Luke finds more value in being pitiful in the end. A thief, Judas was. A safecracker is dragline. Luke, I agree with you. They succeeded where we failed, my friend. They're more numerous than flies in the wild. Commanding officers, canines, law enforcement, and an arsenal of firearms. And that's all I've ever witnessed. You are completely outmatched. Shortly after we broke up, they tracked me down and were planning to murder you. I corrected that, though. This scene is likely to be familiar to you if you give up peaceful and become involved with Beard's Town, as I managed to convince them to promise. An ending that is symbolic. You probably would have connected the life of Jesus with the crucifixion of Luke. Each individual in the camp is represented by one of the fifty eggs. In order to rescue people's spirits, Luke is eating sin. Ragline asserts your path to eternal glory is just nine more steps away. Two criminals, one who defended Jesus and one who rebuked him, were crucified with him. A link between Joseph, Coco Safecracker, and the plot of Dragline that is revealed later on in the film. Both of them stand by him, but one of them ignores Luke. Keep it. Since he failed to swallow the previous time, what is at risk? My hope is that my baby will be here. Yes. This is the sole miracle that Luke performed. In the basement, no one can eat fifty eggs. Jesus Christ got up into heaven after he died and was reborn. At the film's conclusion, Luke follows suit and is accompanied by what Dragline calls a true vision of paradise itself a pair of names that rhyme with my boy in the most telling line. Luke is nailed to the cross with two angels by his side as he taps his way up into heaven at the hard road intersection. Thus, what is your opinion? Could anything have slipped my mind? If you like this, please subscribe, like, and share it. I am eager to hear your thoughts and opinions on this and am working on several character studies at the moment.